for me, it's all about the eyebrows. And I mean these kinds of eyebrows. Uh, Frank Zappa, uh, a few decades ago, uh, commentated brilliantly with a quote that stood uh, the test of time and has stuck with me since I first heard it in 1998. And that was, an algorithm can tell you a story, but it can't tell you the whole story because it doesn't have the eyebrows. And what he's talking about is nuance and emotion and the essence of humanity. In, in everything we do in marketing, there is a real balance to be struck between marketing uh, science and marketing art. Marketing as a science and marketing as an art. The science of marketing over the last 20 years since Tim Berners-Lee gave us the World Wide Web has been phenomenal. The acceleration of scientific growth, the ability to measure everything, to know everything, to watch customer journeys live as they're happening. The science is phenomenal. However, over the last 20 years, I've watched myself and others in marketing and in business in general become very well educated around the scientific side, but at the price of, I think, the artistic side, the gut feel side, the emotional side. And that's why I think in Simon Sinek's uh, brilliance in 2011 in a TED talk, he brought us back for the first time, I think, in the, in the public discourse around marketing. Uh, he brought us back to um, the why. Now, there were people before him, Neil Crofts talked about authenticity uh, back in the mid noughties um, but ultimately, uh, you know, Simon Sinek, I think, heralded a new age of looking at um, why we do things. Um, and that's infused everything in business, in life, and certainly in marketing. Because ultimately, everything we do in marketing is about emotion. Um, we've lived through the ages of content, of context, of attention, uh, even of authenticity to a degree. And I would now argue that we are living in the age of humanization. I think we've been living in that age since 2011, roughly around the same time, 2010-11, when Simon Sinek was giving his TED Talk. I think, ultimately, uh, no one's going to disagree with me when I say people buy from people. Um, we also often say that people are our most important asset in a business. Um, and yet, uh, we rarely put people at the center of what we do. Some people pay lip service even in regular business, never mind marketing. Some people pay lip service to that people-centric model, um, but it really is uh, the key, I think, to awesome marketing and great business. Humanity, for me, is the key to our success. Um, go figure. I mean, who'd have ever thought humanity would be the key to our success? And yet here we are in 2019 saying exactly that. So for me, uh, there are two things you can do to humanize your business. Uh, right now. The first thing is you can uncover your why. Uh, this is super important. Obviously, if you haven't heard of Simon Sinek, if you've never heard of Simon Sinek after this video, after you click subscribe on YouTube, uh, definitely go and check out Simon Sinek's uh, TED Talk on getting to why and how great leaders inspire action. But also, um, start thinking in the context of people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Uh, it's really important to think about that. They buy what you do, not why you do it. Um, the why is crucial to everything. You don't have to agree with me. It's, it's a given in my book, but I just want you to meditate on that. Um, to sell something once, frankly, in a downward trending retail market is lucky. Uh, if you want to continue to keep customers, you have to give them reasons to come back. And there is no better reason than giving them uh, an insight into your why, which hopefully matches and aligns with their why, of course. Um, if you align your whys, I think you get a customer uh, for life. If not life, certainly a longer period. And the lifetime value of that customer goes up, which means the cost of acquisition goes down. The second thing you need to do, apart from uncovering your why, is be a storyteller. Um, it's all very well knowing your why, but you need to tell the story of your why. So why are you doing things? How does it impact on the way your business is run, on the products and services you evolve and develop and offer? But most importantly, talk about and tell stories about the client's why, your customer's why. Start to signal to them that you're relevant for them. It's a radical thought, really, isn't it? That all we need to do is really humanize our business. Um, after all this time in business, business has been running for thousands of years, and it's coming full circle back to people. Because ultimately, computers don't have eyebrows. People do.